and Great Chefs Productions present Grill Out Caribbean, featuring recipes and grilling tips from four chefs who demonstrate the art of New World cookery. The Miami suburb of Aventura, formerly North Miami Beach, is home for the highly touted Chef Allen's. Allen Susser has been in the forefront of Caribbean-influenced cooking since it first bloomed in South Florida, but his cooking goes beyond island fare. It's been described as a fusion of Asian, Hispanic, and Caribbean. He demonstrates this with his rack of barbecued lamb. A dry rub is prepared by crushing black peppercorns, cumin, and fennel seeds, which were dry roasted in a saute pan. Okay, going to add a little bit of salt to it because this is going to be the, the rub that we're going to be using on the racks of lamb. So, so we've got all that together and we're going to just take the racks of lamb and coat it. Just packing it on, okay? Just take it and pack it on the front as well, coming over to the back side of it. Okay, so this I'm just going to set aside for the, the spices to cure into the meat for a, a little bit. And then we're going to talk about the tamarind chili grill sauce that we're going to use for barbecuing the rack of lamb. The sauce contains cubed mango and diced jalapeno, along with the canned product made from the pulp of tamarind pods. Tamarind is the principal flavor of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, you're going to put in the, the tamarind pulp that... Uh, that I was talking about earlier. Okay, with that, the mangoes are gonna go in, as well as some onions. So, some basic flavors of any type of barbecue sauce with uh, onions and garlic, some diced ginger, and gar the garlic goes in there. Some jalapenos, as well as a touch of allspice. So, we've got a little bit of allspice. Allspice are these, uh, these whole berries here. Also, very much of a, a Caribbean flavor uh, with that. The whole ginger that I diced and, and put in, as well as some of the jalapenos. Okay, that just gonna mix up, because this is also a, a one-pot barbecue sauce, which is real nice for it. What we're gonna do to, to enrich in it uh, is going to add a little bit of molasses to this. Okay, you get that nice deep color from the molasses as well as some red wine. Because uh, again, when you're, you're cooking something like a, a rack of lamb, you want that full flavor uh, with it. So we're gonna add in the, the red wine, a little bit of salt into it, as well as some red wine vinegar. Okay, so a wonderful balance. And then again, using a little bit of more tropical flavor with it, a little bit of orange juice added into that to give it a, a depth and a balance of that uh, sugar and acid that we want to put together. Okay, this is going to go on to the, the stove for about 20 minutes, a half hour to reduce. Going to take that and then strain it. Put a little bit of olive oil on to the rack, on each of the racks. And... Going, uh, again, using the, the indirect uh, method on this, but this side I'm going to take and put right on to directly over the heat to begin with. Okay, both uh, both racks on either side. We've got the the charcoals on, on either side. This way, it sears the fla sears the flavor, caramelizes it a little bit, and that's what I love about uh, using a rack of lamb on a barbecue is because it gets a nice carameled flavor, uh, which really intensifies the whole lamb experience. So we're going to just let that roast there for a moment, searing this side. We're going to then take it and turn it in just a moment. And start to see a little bit of caramelizing there. You know, let it cook a, a little bit. Just going to close this up for a moment and get some heat. Okay, with closing this, it's wonderful because it also catches all the, the flavors and you get a, a great smokiness beginning with, uh, with the lamb. And that's really what we want to do is uh, that combination of smoke and heat working together. Okay, as you can see, it starts to, starts to brown in that fashion. And then going to turn this over.
on the rack of lamb, you notice we left a nice coating basically of fat. And what's going to happen as it roasts indirectly, the fat's going to be like a self-baster. So taking the, the fat, and it's just going to sort of like melt across and really give us a, a great outside crust for the whole lamb at the same time as keeping the, the meat moist. Okay, so again, just take that and close that up for a few more moments. Just where we want to be, getting that caramelized. Now I'm just going to place these in the center to start that indirect cooking. Okay, just going to place these in. A little drip pan underneath for catching so it doesn't flare up. And going to close it up and just let the, the barbecue do its work. After roasting for a while, the lamb is coated with barbecue sauce. Okay, after letting this barbecue for about 15 minutes on indirect heat, you're going to open it up. You're going to see it really starts to get nice and roasted and the fat's starting to reduce. You're going to baste this so you start to develop the, the flavors with the, the barbecue sauce on this. This overall is going to take about 25 minutes, so what I want to do is really get, uh, get a nice flavor throughout. So just taking it all over the meat on the sides throughout like that. Okay. So just a nice coating of it. And tamarind chili really works very well with the uh, rack of lamb. I'm going to take this and close it back up. Because that's the idea with the indirect heat. You want to be able to make this almost like an oven outside on your barbecue. So by closing it up, the indirect heat gives us all of that heat and flavor together. The racks were brushed with sauce one more time before the roasting is finished. So about 25 minutes later, uh, we're about done with this. It's actually roasted about 350 degrees in the indirect heat in the barbecue. You're going to take it. You can see the wonderful flavors and colorations of it. What we're going to do is just let this rest for a moment. Okay, because what happens with a, a rack of lamb or any meat, even a, a nice thick steak, uh, if you take it and slice it directly right off of the heat, it, st it tends to bleed out. And then you'll have actually, though you've gone through the whole process, you'll have a tough piece of meat. So letting it rest for a few minutes is very important. The lamb will be served with a sort of Caribbean ratatouille, which includes plantain, calabasa, or Caribbean pumpkin, and chayote, also called Christophine in the islands. And we've got some beautiful chops with the rack of lamb. What I like to do is just take it, place it right on the Caribbean ratatouille, and then a little bit of garnish with a nice piece of rosemary sprig for that.